Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about installing PySpark on Windows. So we are going to perform 8 steps and after that we will be able to run PySpark on Windows. So first step is to install Python. We have to look into the version of the Python that is uh, compatible with PySpark. So if we look into this documentation of Cloudera, we can see that between Python 3.8 and 3.11 uh, we can install the latest PySpark version which is 3.5.1 similarly for other versions uh, we have to look into this matrix and we can decide on which Python version we want to install so we can install Python 3.11 uh, since we are going to install PySpark uh, like 3.5.1 then we are going to install Java for Java again we have a compatibility matrix we can see over here that uh, for Spark 3.5.1 uh, Java version supported are 8, 11 and 17 so we should install any of these version uh, we should install 17 as it is a more latest or more recent version then we have to uh, install PySpark so once you have installed Python you can then install PySpark in Python using pip install PySpark and you can provide the version that you want to install so before that uh, if we see how we can install uh, python i have already shared a link over here i have shared the link so it will give you the uh, python version so i have shared the link of uh, version 3.1.4 but if you want to install other versions you can uh, go ahead and install that so you can see over here there are windows installer available you can uh, install any of these uh, versions so you can go with the window installer it will be a uh, easier way to install uh, PySpark and also make sure that if your uh, system is 64 bit for Java again if you want to install JDK 17 you can go over here I have shared the link in the description as well as in the document so you can uh, go there and you can install the uh, 64 bit uh, version for uh, JDK and uh, I would recommend that you can use the MSI installer as it is the uh, easiest way to install any uh, java version in windows so once we have installed uh, python java and uh, pyspark using pip we also have to install the uh, spark we have to download the spark from the documentation uh, you can see there is a link so if you want to install uh, spark 3.5.1 you can just click on this and it will get downloaded or if you want to install the older version like 3.4.3 you can uh, install it using here so all the list is available in the archive list you can go and install older version of spark as well uh, you can go into uh, like spark 3.3 and then you can install the uh, file so uh, let's see if i want to run spark 3.3 we can uh, run it with uh, any of the uh, you know uh, binaries that are available over here once you have uh, downloaded Spark, then the next step would be to download uh, WinUtils. Since we are going to use Hadoop 3.3 uh, uh, Spark, then uh, we are going to install the uh, WinUtils from this particular uh, link in GitHub. So if you want to uh, read or write into any folder, then uh, this uh, WinUtils will be required. So to uh, get this, you have to download this particular uh, folder. You can download it from here. So once we have installed Python, Java, uh, Spark, WinUtil, then uh, we have to uh, go to the next step and set some properties like uh, Hadoop Home, Spark Home, Python Path, etc. So first, let's see how we can uh, run this pip install PySpark. So once you have uh, installed Python, pip will uh, get automatically installed with it. So you just have to copy this pip install uh, PySpark and the version. And when I, you will run this like this, uh, pip install PySpark and you will provide the version then it will start uh, installing PySpark on your uh, machine uh, currently I have already installed PySpark that's why I don't have to uh, uh, do that again uh, it says that the requirement already satisfied which means that PySpark 3.5.1 is already installed in my system once this is done next step would be uh, to uh, set the Hadoop home and other things now we can keep spark as well as uh, win utils in any folder so i have placed it in the uh, c folder i have created a folder called hadoop inside that uh, there is a bin folder inside bin basically we want these two files 
so uh, we'll keep this file over here in the bin folder similarly for spark you can uh, create the uh, folder uh, spark inside which you can keep your spark version so currently i'm using 3.5.1 so i have unzipped this over here and you can see that uh, the spark uh, related all the uh, configs and files are available in this so these two things are required first once that is done you can uh, just uh, search for the environment variable so if you like this uh, there you can see a uh, environment variable option in the environment variable you have to set four parameters the uh, first one is the uh, pyspark python so you have to pass on variable name as pyspark python and the value as python similarly python path inside the python path you have to pass two paths comma separated uh, these are available in the uh, folder uh, python folder over here in the lib you can see that there are two files available you have to give the absolute path which you can copy by clicking it over here and then you can take the path and you have to place it in the variable values comma separated so pi 4j as well as pi spark dot zip these are comma uh, separated values so once that is done you have to pass on uh, spark home spark home is till the spark folder where you have kept your uh, uh, spark uh, hadoop 3 uh, unzipped files so which is basically over here so this is the spark home uh, similarly we want to set the hadoop home as well so hadoop home you can see that i have placed the path till hadoop folder so we have created a hadoop folder over here inside c and inside bin we have placed all the files so till this path you have to uh, set so you can copy it and in the value you can place it like i have placed it over here once these things are done next step is to uh, go to the system variables and inside the path you have to uh, pass on two parameters one is the hadoop bin and uh, similarly we can uh, keep a spark bin as well but spark bin is not as such required because we are going to run it via zupta notebook if we wanted to run it via command prompt itself so you you have to pass on the uh, spark uh, 3.5 bin path as well so for now you just have to keep the hadoop bin uh, location over here so after you have done all these steps once you launch the jupyter notebook so to launch the jupyter notebook you can do uh, jupyter space notebook and it will launch the jupyter notebook if you want to launch it in a specific drive you can go to the drive like i have to launch it in e drive so i have done it e colon it will change the drive and you can launch the jupyter notebook once you have uh, started jupyter notebook you can uh, create a new notebook like this new python 3 notebook and uh, for for now for this particular uh, video i have already created one notebook for spark installation test if you have installed everything properly then you will be uh, able to create the spark session so from pyspark.sql import spark session and you can get the active session as well and let's say if i want to read a csv file uh, i can do df car spark dot read dot option csv it will uh, read the file and if i do the dot show you can see that output is printed over here if you want to open the spark ui you can click over here and you can see all the operations that i have done uh, all the uh, spark ui options that are available will be available to you as well so this is how uh, you can install PySpark on Windows. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.